Thailand was the bridge to Nepal. Thailand is, is a bit of a blur. I don't remember it vividly. The whole time I was, I was thinking in my head, I was preparing mentally for Nepal and not eating for seven days and being on a severely limited budget. My thoughts were not with Thailand. I was physically there, but I, I wasn't there mentally. When I think about Nepal, it's all vivid, man. My adrenaline was going, limited cash. Where are we gonna stay? Every person I talk to, I viewed as an opportunity to stay at their house tonight, you know? We would get a meal out of this. A big part of me did not want to break bread, did not want to stay at anyone's home. It, it was uncomfortable. We were flying 12,000 miles the other side of the world. And we're going to stay at some stranger's home. It just did, it felt weird. So a big part of me really envisioned seven nights of camping and being outdoorsy and staying outside. So we, we prepared for it. We went to REI. We bought uh, sleeping bags, which were rated for a certain temperature. And I, I fully anticipated sleeping on the banks of the river. That was my intention. I do remember getting ready that morning and packing my bag. My sons were there. Hi, All right. All right, good job, thank you. I was nervous. I was probably just feeling more anticipation. Just wanted to lead and, and start this. Cha masaga ek bata yak kurot cha. Yes, I have a packet of yak cigarettes. It was very exciting. At the same time, it was stressful. I felt like, um, you know, what am I getting myself into? What am I doing? I started having these like paranoid thoughts of like, what if something happens to me? I mean, I'm a very anxious person by nature. I'm very neurotic. I'm the dreamer. I'm the kind of guy that says everything's gonna work out just fine. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Threat is everything's gonna go wrong. That became a source of anxiety. I'm coming, hold on. What's up, dude? You ready? Hell yeah. Cool, cool. I remember the energy. I was fucking excited. I couldn't fucking believe it. Could I? I just remember generally feeling very anxious. Like, what am I doing? This is stupid. Why am I doing this? I was fresh off of a breakup at the time. I wasn't over my girlfriend at the time. I was still harbored some, some hope that we would get back together and maybe get married. I remember feeling sad about that, like I'm leaving her behind and, you know, I'm leaving my family behind to go to this country I've never been to where there's Maoist rebels and I'm, what am I doing? My mentality is like nothing's gonna go wrong. Or everything's gonna work out. But at least my, that was my hope. Yep. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Okay, I don't have the keys. <laughs> Dude, we can go now.
I remember the, the morning of in Bangkok. It was humid, smoggy. I mean, if we come from LA, you think we know smog. That was a different level, man. Kind of smell thick and dirty. It was grimy. It was heavy. It was crazy. For me, the real trip started when we find those guys and they gave us rides on the motorcycle. They had mopeds or bikes. Yeah. And, hey, can we ride those things? Can you give us a ride? They were like hesitant, right? They were hesitant, but uh, I, th I think we may have given them a few bucks or something out of the budget. And they reconsidered. Oh, two dollars? Yeah, count us in, you know. At that point, I think it hit me. Oh, this is happening. The things I imagined doing on a crazy trip was happening. It's fucking crazy. That was just completely scary. You have an extra helmet. I was in the back of the motorcycle with this perfect stranger, zipping in and out of traffic in Thailand. This is what I wanted. I'm living my dream. I kept thinking, I'm about to fall off this bike. I'm gonna die in Bangkok. You know, I, I did feel like I was taking control of my life in a way. Like I'm striking out on my own now. Like I'm doing something ballsy. I'm breaking out of the shadow. That's exactly what I felt. It felt good. <laughs>